A big pretty girl. You's a big pretty girl. Mr. Q the best, you know that? You the greatest. Ain't no, ain't nothing better than this. Ain't nothing better than this. You hear me? Ain't nothing better than this. I put out a gene walk the other day. Talking about the kingdom, the importance of the kingdom. And how, you know, us men, we be doing weak shit. We be really doing weak shit, Mystic. We be doing really weak shit. I'm gonna have a very vulnerable moment right now. <clears throat> I be having conversations with my partner. I even be having moments where I don't want to call her my partner because I feel like, ah, uh, I'm just not marriage. I'm And not even marriage, okay? We, we ain't even got to call it marriage. I be thinking, man, I'm just not a one-woman type of guy. That's a lie because I ain't never been a hoe. I ain't never been out here just hitting random women for no reason just to be hollering at women. I ain't never been that type of guy. I've never been the type of guy to just be dating around for no reason. And you can ask the women that have dealt with me. <clears throat> I'm not going to say their names, but if you were to talk to these women, anybody who has dealt with me, they know I don't entertain. I don't entertain things for too long if it ain't serious. I don't get in too deep. I don't I don't get too intimate with women that I'm not truly truly interested in building with. Use a big use a big use a big pretty girl. Hold up, hold up, pull that up a little bit now. Pull that up. We sacrifice the kingdom to do this weak shit. I be having conversations with Ashley about, oh man, I just be wanting to explore different women. And I got Look, I'm going to be honest. I have women in my network that I have these crushes on, you know, um, and they, they probably would never know because I don't I don't let them know. But it's just different women that have these looks and this energy that I am interested in. And I, I have these real thoughts about, man, what would it be like to explore this other woman? And these are the types of feelings that men have and women have them, too. But. I feel like I'm speaking from the perspective of a man, so men will be able to relate. It's just certain women on the outside that just have these these energies. And women, y'all are very, very tempting. Very, um, Ash is going to be mad because I ain't got the headband on her head. But guess what? I got to put this vlog out. I got to put this shit out. Damn, yo. I probably do need to get a fucking headband though, cause she told me not to. She told me not to record any videos of her without the headband. Mama. But we we having fun, Mister. Come on, come here. He was a big pretty girl. Oh, you about to crawl, Angie? You? you about to crawl? You about to do it? You better do it. You better do it. You better do it. Basically, what I'm saying is, it's all a bunch of bullshit, man. Like, okay, you have you have this attraction for this other woman, right? Or these women out in the world. It's a lot of beautiful women. We can all acknowledge that there is a lot of beautiful women that have dope energy. And you're all special in your own ways. I'm a type of person where I like to explore different energies. I like getting to know new people. And I, I make posts about, yeah, I like pretty faces. I like to look at pretty women. That's always going to be a fact. But then you look at the bigger scheme of what we really doing in life. And I've always been a long-term thinker. I love to build. I love to... I love to make the empire, create the empire. This is why I'm an artist. Every time I'm able to add a new piece of art to my catalog, I'm building my empire of artwork. This is an empire. I have started my family empire. What the fuck I look like going after some lustful desires or just the desire to get to know a new woman because, like I said, I ain't never been a hoe. It ain't never just about sex. It's always deeper than that. But why would I want to build something... To that degree, when I'm I'm over here building a family, and I want to make my foundation strong. Hey, you Zabi. Got my hair, man. Hey, you Zabi. Hey, you Zabi. Hey, you Zabi. Pretty girl. Any personal feelings about me not being a one woman type of man? That's just bullshit. It ain't even about the woman that you're with. As long as you and this woman ain't got nothing completely toxic, which I don't feel like that's the case with most relationships. Most re most relationships that don't work is because two people are just being very selfish and shout out to Adrian because she be giving me dope jewels about relationships and why they don't work. But really, it's two people that be super selfish and you want you, you want your partner. You want your partner to be a certain type of person. And when your partner doesn't live up to this expectation, you just feel the need that you got to dip. And you ain't really seeing the bigger picture. It ain't about your partner being perfect for you. 
because I honestly feel like a lot of these relationships that end, they can work. If you just get out of your own way, out of your own head and your own expectations of wh- how, what you need from a partner to be happy. Yeah, there's things that Ashley does does not have or that she does not possess that I wish she would possess because I'm like, oh, I know what it's like to be with a woman that does this and did it. Or I wish you would be a woman that would do this. And I know she could say the same thing about me because I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Everybody's going to fall short in areas that you need them to be better in. But is it really about being with somebody that's perfect? It ain't about that. It ain't even about that person. When you have a child, the whole fucking point of this shit changes. It's about you and this person being a dope team together and learning how to coexist. And just don't be toxic to your partner. That's it. Don't be a fucking stress and a weight to the person that you're building an empire with. Have the goal in mind. The goal is to have a strong foundation. The goal is to uplift your partner, to build together, to support one another, to teach your children, to give your children the the balance of the king and the queen. And as the kings, we got to make sure our queens are okay. Whenever I whenever I know I'm contributing to the stress in this house, I don't feel like a good man. So great men keep their families together. Great men make sure that their woman is okay. And it took for me to talk to somebody, a man who is married. He's been married a long time. I didn't know I was going to meet this guy. But this is how the universe be working. You cross paths with people and and they have conversations with you. My partner said it's important for me to talk to people that are in positions that I want to be in. But I'm just going to say it's important for you to talk to people that are in similar situations. So if you're in a relationship and you're struggling... You need to talk to somebody of the same sex that's also in a relationship because I'm sure they're probably dealing with the same fucking issues, mental blocks and issues and just these things that get in the way of the the real end goal. So it took for me to talk to a guy who's been married a long time and I had to get his perspective as a man and it helped me. Oh, I love you too, Misty. She does this thing where she put her head in my, uh, (laughs) in my chest or in my... We got to pull your thing up. Mommy going to be mad when she see the Hey, we got to Hey, we got to do vlogs, Mr. Taking on the perspective of this man who is is married and has kids. And he's older than me. He has more experience than me in this. Now, I don't look at his life and say, I didn't go into the conversation saying, oh, I want to be married because I actually had the perspective of saying, like, I'm not a one woman type of man. But I was asking him questions about if he dealt with these same type types of issues and thoughts that I was dealing with like oh man how did you know you was I really asked him how did you know she was the one like um do you ever deal with these thoughts of just not being a one woman type of man and he was like yeah and he straight up told me you just got to stop making excuses it's all these immature excuses as to why you can't make it work with a woman is it really that stressful And he was telling me a lot of times as men, we got to bite the bullet, man. We got to take the bullet. Mystic, you okay? Mystic. Mystic. So I'm learning to not be so emotional. And I'm learning to, uh, I got to learn to be less emotional with my woman. And make it about just being the best man I can be for this family, man. And I have to make sure... Another thing that he told me, the guy that I talked to, he said, if, if, y'all are, if y'all are able to go to sleep at peace, then that's a successful day. It ain't about winning an argument. It's not about getting somebody to admit that they're wrong. It's about hearing each other. And then as the man, we can't be putting weight on these women. We got to really step up. We got to stop expecting equal treatment. Like... We be getting mad when women get certain, uh, I guess, upper hands or we got to take the bullet or we got to take the short end of the stick. That's what we supposed to do as men. We're not supposed to get the same treatment. If we were supposed to get the same treatment, we'd be the same gender. Men are stronger. We're supposed to be the stronger creatures. We're supposed to take care of the home and take these L's sometimes and just be the bigger person because we are literally the bigger person. We're the stronger species in a lot of ways. But then women are stronger than us in a lot of ways. But we got to take care of our women. We're the protectors. So in all situations, we have to be the bigger one. So we got to be leaders, man. That's all I wanted to say. We got to be leaders. And I love my family. And fuck all this 
This weak shit, man. You gotta stop doing this weak shit. Keep your kingdom together. Keep your families together.